Welcome back to Barbecue with Greg. Let's put that meat on the grill. Let's get started. Welcome back barbecue friends. Today we got a nice spiral ham. I bought it from Costco, fully cut and cured. Now what I want to do today is warm it up, flavor it up, get it real nice, add a little bit of smoke. I'll show you how I got it started. Here I got the Costco ham ready to go. So I unwrapped it. Then I put it in its own bag. I want to add some maple syrup to it. Now I'm trying to get the maple syrup to penetrate in between each slice. Then we'll marinate it in there and we'll put it in the fridge for a couple hours before we barbecue. I used a half a liter of syrup. Okay, got a nice fire going there now. Got a couple pieces of cherry wood in there for some smoke. And uh, let's get the grill set up. For this cook, I put the ceramic plate in there along with the bottom grill. I'll close the lid here. Our bottom damper, I'm gonna allow about one set of holes there. Up top, just open it up, uh, just to about one. Okay, now we closed our lid, set our dampers. We'll wait for the smoke to go away so the fire can regulate to our new damper positions. Then we'll put our meat on. Okay, we took our ham here out of the fridge. Time to put it on. I've got a dome temperature here at just under 250 degrees. Everything looks like it's leveling off nicely. I got just a little bit of smoke coming out here, which is good. Let's get this meat on. I'm gonna use a pan here that has these grills in it. Put the ham on there, and then the ham will sit up out of whatever moisture comes back out of it. Let's open this up. Go flat side down on there. Close the lid. Okay, here we are one day away from the first day of winter. Just a beautiful day outside today. So this is the first time I cooked a spiral ham on here, but it's not the first time that I marinated things in maple syrup. And it's always penetrated the meat real nice and just turned out perfect. So we'll see how that gets in between the slices and just comes out all flavor, I hope. Okay, the ham's been on for about an hour now. I should point out, we still got a dome temperature of 250 here. The interior temperature of the ham, 68 degrees. Everything's just going smoothly here. We're just gonna keep her going and we'll check back when this reaches about 135 or so, then we'll do the next step. Okay, we're about three and a half hours into this cook. Still got a temperature of 250, it's holding perfect. The interior temperature is now 131. So I want to put a bit of a glaze on this. For a glaze, I just mixed some butter with some brown sugar, microwaved that, and stirred it up. This is just turning out perfect here. Looks beautiful. Brush that on. Now that I have all that nicely glazed. Now I got some crystallized brown sugar. I want to sprinkle that on top give me a nice crunchy texture on the outside and just sprinkle that on let this go for another 20 minutes or so and then we'll see where we're at temperature wise then we'll pull this off okay we're at 133 degrees we're starting to lose a lot of daylight here so I'm not sure how we're gonna film but when we reach 145 degrees on this ham, I'm gonna pull it off. I'll grab a few slices, we'll bring it out, and we'll do a taste test. So we'll see you back then. Time for the taste test here. Let's see how we did. Mmm. Okay. Right away you get that crunch them from the crust. That smokiness made it right through the meat. Mm. Okay, and you taste that maple syrup? 
the ham's just super tender. I put it on a, just two slices of bread, no butter, nothing. Really get the feel of what the ham tastes like. Wow, that's delicious. I don't think I've ever had a ham so tasty and tender. Tell me, just cook perfect. I guess low and slow is definitely the way to go with these hams. Yeah, I'm not sure if the maple syrup marinade was worth it. It doesn't show through that much, but the ham is definitely so tender. I don't know if the syrup had something to do with that. Just phenomenal. Between the tenderness, the smokiness, the little crunchy crust. Wow. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Click that subscribe if you want to keep watching these videos. And we'll see you next time on Barbecue with Greg.